Eyes on Fishing with Mitch Peterson, Josh Sheldon, and Brad Qualley, leading you to the next level. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to All Eyes on Fishing. Uh, today, we're kind of going to uh, talk about a seasonal type podcast, and it's uh, the wish list, because Christmas is right around the corner, and I know I have a lot of stuff that I want. It, it's pretty much for fishing, right? <laughs> so, Jeez, yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, the way, yeah. the, the, we got to be clear that this is going to be strictly about fishing. Yes. I don't want to hear about how you need ballerina slippers. I already or, have plenty of those. Don't okay, all right. And, and not a terry cloth robe or... Mm. That's a good, See, that's good. That, those are all those are dad gifts too, you know. Oh God, now that you're making it tough. But anyway, well, and let's it, just concentrate on fishing, and you can be quiet for me. Well, <laughs> <laughs> listen, hey, wait, wait, wait. Now we gotta we gotta make sure we cover this with you because you know you are the kind of person who would really get a lot of benefit out of like a uh, gift card to Krispy Kreme. Mm-hmm. Or Dunkin' Donuts, <laughs> you know. I mean, that is something that would fit don't you, you know why. Don't waste your money. I already got a VIP membership. <laughs> Do you? Yes, I can get. I can, get, three, three, I can get three dozen a month. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. So please don't waste your money. But anyway, let's let's talk. Let's talk our fishing stuff because. Uh, you know, when you're an avid fisherman, hunter, fisherman, whatever, there's always more. Or if you go a couple times a month like Brad. Or never ice fish. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> like Josh. Hey, 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 it's Christmas. Yeah, yeah I know. Come on. Let, let's get along. It's the season to be giving, and yeah. I'm ready to give him more. It's so hard not to just rip on him. But anyway, so let's talk about, we, I got some expensive stuff that I probably won't get, but there's some stuff that, you know, doesn't break the bank, you know, that... Hopefully, I'm going to make sure my wife listens to this podcast because there's definitely some things. And if you guys being buddies, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So, let's talk about... I'm going to start off expensive. And then we'll get into more realistic. Because... <laughs> Expensive to me is anytime you're dropping a few hundred bucks, right? I mean, yeah, that's something yeah. where you're just like, ah, right. oh, God, you know, you got to actually think about spending that right. money. At least I do. So, you know, we've been out ice fishing over the last several years. <laughs> and it's funny because I have this old unit that I put in. A, that's what we've heard. <laughs> uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an old ammo box with a small battery. And, you know, to, just to be able to. Teeny, old, old, teeny. Yeah, it's just teeny. But. It's to you know. It's more of a depth finder than anything, and I, I, it just doesn't work as a flasher. And then I I fish with Mitch, and he's got this Vexler, so, and I'm always like, hey dude, uh, can I borrow your Vex? So that's what I want a Vexler. Now tell me what kinds of which uh, what what you have. Well, I've got I've got a FL18, um, and there's 24, 12 is more basic. I, I tell you what, I got an FL24 too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> We're focusing here. Um, bot- bottom line, if, if you don't have a Vexlar and you don't have much money, get the 12 because the technology is the same. It's going to be able to show you mm-hmm. the fish, and that's what it's for. Yeah. I mean, some of the, the, the more expensive models have better features and different features and stuff, but I'm telling you, uh, a flasher will be the the – Deal changer oh my God. for you it's, if you aren't fishing with one. It's frustrating because the the unit that I use, I mean, it gives me bottom and stuff. But when you're using like really small small jigs and stuff, you just can't see it. Yeah. And like on your vex, you can see the fish coming. You can raise your eight ounce, sixteen ounce jig, whatever size it is, up right to them. Yeah. Jig it in front. I mean, it's unbelievable. All right, so, so that's what I want as a vex. All right. So so the moral of this story is you want a big unit if you're going to be a flasher. Is that what you said? I right? know that's what you got. Out. Okay, all right. I just want to make sure. Now let's, talk, now let's talk about something that's more useful. <laughs> that's right? all junior. Let's, let, <laughs> let's, <laughs> talk, let's talk about something that's more useful. Let's talk about something that's a little more, uh, something that we could use like when it's open water, when the rest of the crowd that's normal fishes. Hey, we're talking about things we want. All right, well, okay. There's all plenty right. of open water all stuff right. I want. All right. I like the Vex. All right. So, we're, so you, could, you two are starting off with the ice fishing stuff on your Christmas wish list. No. no he already has one. Yeah. I just started. Oh, that's what you yeah. wanted. Mm-hmm. I okay. was asking for yeah. his advice. Okay. So all what right. do you want? What do you want? Well, I, I'm with you. I, lo- I want some open water business. Yeah. <laughs> um, right? I love my EGO slider net. It's, it's one of the best things that I've ever bought for fishing. Um, well, first, you know, in, you've got to catch fish to be able to use a net. 
So that I, that's what I like about it because I I use the net a lot. Yeah. I, I need I need one in the boat. I, well, we <laughs> fish together, so I'm cast. Listen to him. I love net and Brad's yeah. fish for him. Yeah, so, all right. So I I put a lot into that net. You know, it's it's my tool that right. I run all, all day long. Right. And they're just amazing. Yeah. The, the reach that they'll give, the storage capability. Yeah, the storage. The, is... the, the quality that you know our our nets. We we all have them. I guess I'm I'm saying this more for our listeners. If if you if you are looking for a new net, go step up. E G O nets. Yes, they are by far the. I mean, we've all went to them for a reason, right? Right. All yeah. the guys in the circuit that we fish with, all have them. Right. And it's because they're dependable, the storage capability. They're yep. built good. It's just a great net. Yeah. Yep. No, yep. so I agree with you on that. Yep. I, I would take another one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, actually, I yeah. I mean, and, and I know a lot of guys, um, especially guys in the Great Lakes area, they uh, uh, use. Um, they have two nets. They have a, a bigger net for the bigger mm-hmm. fish, right? And that that would be the only knock I would have on EGO nets. Are um, some you know the the hoop is a little bit on the small side when you start getting some of the bigger fish, but um, if you have the 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 bigger the the guys that catch a lot of the bigger fish, Great Lakes or salmon or whatever, mm-hmm. they will carry two. You know, one. Yeah, those are for those twenty twenty five pound, you know, kings. When they can, yeah, they can yeah. be. I mean, that's the one thing I would say. I mean, I, I mm-hmm. you know, it, there is a little bit of a clinch factor when you got a ten pounder and you're reaching it full extension out. I mean, it it is you know it. Well, it when you it. have it like it fills it. Out, yeah, that net is small. Now. Yeah, yeah, but it no, fills it. But you you're know. but. Just so the listeners know, I mean that's a great net, all around purpose net yep. for ninety nine percent of the fish you're going to catch. Yeah. If you're yeah, going, if you want to spend around a hundred dollars, that's the net to get. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. And and so for me, uh, my top part of my my wish list, and I discovered it with the purchase of one, and it was actually on an accident. So I was I was looking to replace one of my <clears throat> lead core trolling reels uh, with a line counter with a, a new Abu uh, reel. So a new Abu Garcia reel, I didn't know um, exactly what the model was, but I knew that they had uh, come out with a newly designed uh, line counter reel that was going to be deeper so I could fit all of my lead core line. Mm-hmm. So I go through and I'm looking and I order one. You were talking to me about that. Yes. I, was, I was like, oh yeah, Josh, that's yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, so it was the vine leading the blind. So yeah. I, I talked to Brad and I said, well, well, you think this is the right one? He goes, oh, it's got to be. It's got to be, right? Because I, you know, I typed in in the search line counter. Mm-hmm. It only pulled up two. I was like, well, this has got the, you know, I, I, I like the manual line counter over the digital. I thought, well, this has got to be it. Well, it wasn't. But what I did figure out with the, the delivery of the one was it's the uh, Abu Ambassador line counter, and it's the one with the, I like the manual line counter. They have both. They have one with the digital and one with the manual. But anyways, it was a pretty slick little reel. It is smaller. It is lower profile, and it is absolutely ideal with the line counter for running bottom bounce. Bottom bounce. I mean, it ended up being a great. It was. It was awesome, so, right? So I, I have one. I need three more because I'm going to. I'm on a mission to replace my bottom bouncer reels with these line counter reels. And if anybody has ever taken somebody fishing, like when I take Mitch fishing, and they're not so good at knowing when they feel the bottom with their bottom bouncer. <laughs> they, uh, you know, it is. Won the last. <laughs> it was great. That was funny. <laughs> it, it, it is great to be able to say, "Look, we're in twenty feet of water. You need to let out twenty-seven feet on your line counter, and that should be about right for you know what, whatever we're fishing." So that is something that um, is accurate, on my wish list. Reel. Yeah, one, it's yeah. it's something that's on my wish list. So, uh, Brad, any more uh, flashing units you you have? No, or no? but I am going to go with because you can't ever have enough. I already got trays of them. But, and this will lead us into, because I know you guys are going to want the jointed ones, but I want more flicker shad. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can I never like the have flicker enough. minnows, flicker shads, and I'll be honest, the plastics, we went through a pile of plastics this year. We did. Could, the, yeah, the ripple shad are just yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, they work great in the spring, mm-hmm. right? And, they, and it was funny, we were out, oh, middle of November, and we were casting them. And yeah. you were, we were wiper fishing, me and Mitch were... And six for seven or seven for eight? Yeah, I was, I was six for six, then then missed one on my seventh cast. <laughs> yeah, I had them on and it came off and then caught one on my eighth uh, cast. The ripple shads so. are great. And it was the bigger ones, too. It was the four-inch yeah. ripple shad. Yep, four-inch natural shad. Yep. Yep. That, that's that's my favorite. Ripple shad's that's a, my favorite. It's a great swim bait. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. So yeah. I, I love the way And they're way not it expensive, works. but um, 
you know, I, I went through packs of them last yeah. year because we were on the water so much. But uh, I definitely need to replenish, and that's yeah. something that's affordable. Yeah, well, you know? once you buy yeah. one color, you want to buy them all. Oh, well, so, you yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, well, that's the problem. You said Flicker Sheds. Well, yeah. they just came out with, with a new bunch of new colors. And so, you know, I, I mean, I look at them and think I always reach for the, you know, the, the – the pearl or the mouse or whatever color you want to call their shad looking um, flicker shad, but that's always the first one I reach for, no matter what. So I could have 55 other colors, but that one is definitely going to be the first one. And you're going to go for seven. Yeah. We're going to go for five. Yeah. And, and, We've and, talked about yeah, this yeah. in big selection. And, and so, but it's crazy because. I, you know, I look at their new colors. I'm thinking, oh, yeah. And you got to have at least four because uh-huh. you got to put, you know, you got well, four one Rogers. Each rod. Rod. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I start to look, and before you know it, you know, yeah. you're, you're buying four of each color, and there's seven new colors. And before you know it, you're, <laughs> yeah. you're, you're like taking a loan. Yeah. But now they're, they're, they are reasonable. They are. For crankbaits. For crankbaits. They're, yeah. re- they're very reasonable. And you know what? Um, we, we use a lot of different cranks, but I think I always fall back to the. The flicker, the flicker shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, I do. Yeah. It's it's yeah. it's reasonably priced and 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 it works. Yeah, fantastic. Well, and I'm peeking over at Mitch's list, so I know he and I have the same, which is the jointed. Oh, uh, I, yeah. you I know. didn't put it on it because I knew you guys had it. That's I, that's why I brought it up. Who doesn't want that? I, I, you know, I, I I was a fan of uh, the jointed uh, shad wraps. I liked those, but with the flicker coming out with the jointed, I I just think it's going to be. Oh. It's uh, yeah. Th- this spring, it's gonna crush it. Yeah, I, I really wait. do. I think yeah. trolled. I think cast even more. I yeah. think casting those are gonna be even better than trolling. Yeah, them. you know, a, a guy told me years ago. I went out trolling with him years ago, and you know, a lot of our lakes out here, are pretty small, heavy pressure. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, they just you know, how many thousands of shad wraps have they right. seen? You know, and now even flicker shads, whatever. Right. But but he he told me he said you know when the, when when a bait comes out with you know there's a brand new crankbait right. or even new colors, um, mostly new baits that are going to give off a different <clears throat> vibration, a different sound in the water and everything that. It, they will be a hot bait for a couple years, couple just years. because it's new and different. Yep. And again, it, it's kind of changing up. The the walleyes aren't used to seeing it. You know, right. whatever fish you're going for. You know, you um, know uh, what's interesting is Salmo was one uh, a couple of years ago or a few years ago where that was big, right? Salmo yeah. came out. Yep. They were that little bit different shape, a little bit different wobble. They, you know, everybody was on Salmos, and now you still have your hardcore Salmo guys, even though they cost a fortune to buy or the live target oh my that was gosh big too. that was like, big you want to talk about breaking yep. the bank but you know yeah. it's an interesting bait probably you know from a long time ago is um hot and tots mm-hmm. you know so those were yeah. huge for a long yeah. time mm-hmm. and then they kind of died off they're and, starting back and almost did st- and then they started back i started and, using them again last year pretty you know good. and everybody's got a couple boxes of hot and tots that sometimes make the trip sometimes don't mm-hmm. but you know it never fails you throw those on and all of a sudden you can't keep them off mm-hmm. and because it's that different bait it's that different. more aggressive yep. that you know that sound and and, and it's so i i think that's my excuse, right? That's why I tell my wife yeah, is why do you have, have to. I have to because <laughs> this year they're going to be great. Next year they'll be great. Then I won't catch a fish on them for five but years. But they don't go stale. Uh, but they, yeah, so yeah, they know, don't go bad. Yeah, they don't go bad. It's not like you know yeah, your cookies or something. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, <laughs> hey, the day, the day my wife sells a, a spool of her yarn, yeah, because right. she doesn't need it right then. Right, right. The day yeah. I'll sell my crank. Exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you know, and so I stack them up. But you know, I'm going to go back and look at that box and be like, hmm. I haven't used these in a in a little while. Let's let's put those back out. And let's Try see how they do. Yeah. yeah. So and that's that's kind of the other, um, and and I think those are going to be awesome. But um, yeah, I think I'm excited. I am too. Yeah. I think if guys are looking at something to start getting their arsenal ready for next spring, it's, yeah. it's that uh, Berkeley Flicker line: the minnows, the shads, yeah. the jointed. Yeah. It's it's a quality bait and it really does work well. Right. Well, and I and I have a feeling the next jointed one you'll see, and I don't know anything. For sure, but I think the next one will be the flicker minnow joint. It's got to be. It's got to be yeah, right. Be. You know, it's going to come out and man. I have, I, I just, have no idea there, but it just seems like the next progression. It seems, it I hope yeah. so. Yeah. Yep. You uh, know, I got I got something that I guarantee that you would want, Mitch, and you would want for Christmas if you could guarantee it. Because I know I do. What's that? A twelve pound plus walleye. Well, <laughs> see, if I could guarantee it, like buy, if someone could buy me a card that says you're guaranteed to, yeah. I, I, that would be my. I wouldn't want the Vexler. Yeah, that. I would just be good with one. Yeah. Uh, just one twelve pluser. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, that would be. I'd, I'd go for Paired that. Paired in with a bunch of six and eights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got qualified. Yeah, you know on I mean? tournament days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that twelver needs to come on. 
Day two of the tournament. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And yeah. really, you know, Christmas came early for me <laughs> since I've got caught a 13-pounder yeah. back in the day. I have so, never So this Christmas, I'd like a 14 Yeah. I'll be happy with a 12. I'm not yeah. greedy. No, I think that one we got in Escanaba was pretty close. No. Ah, to it 10. Was, no, it was. No? no, it was 32 plus inches. I think it was pretty close. Yeah, it was it was a big girl, but it wasn't a 13. No, I don't think it was 13. Oh, you mean I, close to I, 12? But I think it was getting close to it's 12. Close to 12. It, it was definitely old. You know, it was, that was. But I want a guaranteed one. Yeah. Right. Right. Let me guess. You, you two caught that pre-fishing, didn't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> not during I the tournament. Know. Oh, no, not even That's close. what I want I for Christmas. I don't want to talk about that. Opening I, That's day. what I want for Christmas. That was the I want first the... fish we caught up there, though. Yes. That, that was the way to get a precedent. Oh, yeah, you guys was, are like, oh, yeah. worth the drop. Yeah, oh, sure. yeah. We, that made the entire trip from Colorado to the UP absolutely worth every mile that it, it took was, us to yeah. get there, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so, yeah. Anyway, yeah. back to gifts. <laughs> yeah, back to gifts. What else do you got? I got one other thing because, you know, in the spring. Hey, hey you just went. No, we, no, we, we all go, went together. Go, yeah, we, that was kind of a group. It was uh, a group. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Go ahead, go ahead. Jeez. Am I okay? <laughs> go, go, go ahead. Right. I just want to make sure I'm okay. Yeah. But uh, well, That's a loaded question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, no, because the spring, you know, I, I know when you read stuff on mono, they always say it's good for a couple seasons, and they say that fluorocarbon is good for four or five. Yeah. But, no. Nah. I mean, I re- we replace all of our line sometimes twice during a season because yeah. we do a lot of fishing, so that might be it too. But um, all my all – my, uh, trolling rods we yeah. put up that berkeley 10 pound xl yeah. on there and all of them so i need about a thousand to preferably two thousand yards of that i need the big spool the big spool yeah. so i could get by with a thousand yeah but bigger there yeah you know i want more so that's yeah. my way and that's yeah. that's it's not a super expensive gift, but it, it would be it would be something that if you guys you would cherish there, it mm-hmm. and love it. <laughs> yeah. It would be my if, favorite. If you, guys, if you guys are getting into this and listen to our podcast about trolling and, and you know pulling and bottom bouncers and trolling rods and things, you want to run that ten pound mono, whatever you choose. I, I like the me and Mitch both like the Trilene XL um, because but go a ten pound. On yeah, it because See, and I do the XT. Yes, and and that's a good one too. Yeah. Um, but it's still the Berkeley X. Yeah, right? absolutely. Ten pound. But so when you're when they're doing all these different baits, when they do the dive curves on the baits, it's rated for ten pound. Yeah. So at that ten pound, so that's why you want to stay at the ten pound for trolling rods. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And and I and and this would be the year of the reel for me because I I really um, need to start replacing. I mean, I'm at that point where yeah. you know I, I have spinning reels that are. Um, things that I might hand down to my kids, right? Because mm-hmm. it's a good excuse for me to get another one and yeah. upgrade, right? Yeah. So I have a couple of reels that I've had for quite a long time, you know, and even the, the the brand name is worn off it, you know, and not that it's anything wrong with it, but it would be a great reel for my eight-year-old and daddy can get a new one. So so I uh, last year I bought um, one of the Abu uh, Revos, the SX Spinning, and the you know I, I like the black and red. I think it looks pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so, anyways, I bought that, and I have been super impressed. I mean, what a what great, rod are you running that on? Uh, well, I I like the Fenwick, um, the the jigging rod from Fenwick. Is, six and a half foot. Yeah, uh, six six. Yeah. And um, yeah. yep, and it's the it, it's you know it it works pretty well, and it's designed for jigging for walleyes, mm-hmm. and it's um you know it's it's a pretty good rod, and um, so I really like that combination but like everything right you you buy one to try it see if you like it and now i like it 94 mm-hmm. so i you know at least mm-hmm. another one or two so that it, i i definitely am a big fan of the the new revos they are very smooth the drag system worked great and um you know it stood up to the beating it took getting kicked around the you know yeah, I, I, do those have a felt drag in them or what kind of drag do they have no i don't think they have a felt drive i think they have that uh carbon fiber drag Mm -hmm. i'm pretty sure that they do yep yep and so so, yep that and um you know and i'm going to buy a another um uh real rod combination for my girls they're both getting older into that age where they can graduate from the the you know the closed face you know, kid rods to the uh, to the, the uh, yes yeah, to the spinning rods, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, I, you know, we might go with uh, the Fluger uh, spinning reels for them. Mm-hmm. So, because that's I it. tell you what, uh, and we ran them a couple times 
all season I ran the and, and they're inexpensive is that the contender too that's actually a pretty good reel is it yeah I mean for 25 bucks right mm-hmm. right you know that's a Shakespeare yeah uh, contender and I just wanted to try them this year just to see how well they held up yeah and fine yeah yeah they they're they're pretty smooth um, they're balanced pretty well for that it's not a revo by any right. means right? right I mean but if you're just getting someone into um, you know spin sure. casting reel Your that might be or... that might be something that'd be a good year to reel yeah. for I mean do what you yeah. want but you know what I mean yeah and mm-hmm. kick them around and it'll be fine yeah yeah well that's kind of the big thing you know and like if you're a guide you know uh, you hear the nightmare stories all the time mm-hmm. of guides just get stuff stepped on broken destroyed you know stuff like that is inexpensive and but will stand up to a pretty good beating and if it does get broken it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg yeah. to fix right. yeah. so so um, well that kind of wraps up our wish list i mean with of course all, there's more well there's always yeah more, right? yeah yeah we, we could go on and on yeah i, know, I mean yeah. you know we haven't even talked about boats or motors or <laughs> yeah rafts or we're trying to be as realistic as possible <laughs> I, think I, I think i stretched it with the vexler <laughs> I, I didn't even want to go into the lorance like a new 12 yeah you know, right, right, right. But, well they're coming out with that new live live scan uh, model which they actually they just came out with okay i take it back i want one of those <laughs> yeah so yeah i looked at it i'll take pot. it i'll take it yeah is yeah. that a 12 pounder is that going to be kind of oh. a similar technology to the garmin uh, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but they are going to be able to, it's going to be live scan, it's going to be mapping, it's going to be all that stuff right at your fingertips. So you're going to be able to create maps, everything, uh, yep, yep, you know, but yep. it's the next step up from the carbon. So it's the next in line, you know, and, and I'm actually Gen 2. So, so would you write, would you want that or, or a guaranteed 12 pounder in a tournament? Well, I catch a lot of twelve pounders, so I'd go with the uh, Lorenz. Oh, I'd go with the twelve pounder and turn. Oh, so would I. Because <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. 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 then I could be like, eat it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> so, hey, for, we're going to wrap it up tonight. Uh, from everybody here at All Eyes on Fishing, we'd like to thank you. Uh, we want to get a shout out to Berkeley and uh, Abu Garcia. We've talked a lot about it, but we do truly believe in their product. It's it's really good. You know what I mean? We we love their product. We wouldn't tell you if any. Uh, about them if we didn't truly believe in them. Yep. 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 Hey, yeah, everybody, check out our website at alleyesonfishing.com. Follow us and like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter for fishing picks, articles, all kinds of good stuff. Yep. And if you guys are looking for this podcast or looking for an easier way to listen to it, um, remember we're on iTunes, Spotify. Find us at alleyesonfishing.podbean.com. And uh, make sure you go in and leave comments and, and give a rating. It helps others find us. So it's a great search tool to help people find uh, what was just rated one of the seven best podcasts by In Fisherman. Yep. And yeah, so we are, awesome. yeah, we're pretty proud yeah, of that. And so, thanks a lot to the listeners. For yep. Just, thanks for listening. And, and, and we appreciate it. And we have a good time sharing this information with you guys. So. Have a good night. This has been All Eyes on Fishing. Thank you for joining us. Join us again next time, where we discuss all of your favorite fishing topics. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Check out our videos on YouTube, or read our blog at alleyesonfishing.com. All Eyes on Fishing, leading you to the next level.